about to arrive at Tesla Service in New Orleans. Uh, they're expecting me to pick up my parts for part three. Let's see if I can get in here. They said they come on around the back. Frack off, you can't see him turning. They in front. Let me go pull up here. So probably park over here and pick up everything. Alright, that's it. Get it loaded. Here's my hood, my two fenders. It's a gigantic box with my frunk and bumper. All kind of other little parts. And then this little box filled with everything. Uh, latches, all that stuff. It's a nice building. Nice and open. The shop's really nice. I'm not going to video in there. They might holler at me. Okay, we're back. Part three. Got everything lined up over here. All the parts laid out. Got a bunch of stuff laid out down here. I'll show you later. And uh, I'm going to start with the assembly and get this car put back together. So here's all my parts over here. Got my bumper, hood, the fenders, um, the bumper uh, beam, uh, my headlights, one that was on the car, which is the, uh, the right hand was still good, but the left hand was completely destroyed. I was able to get that on eBay. Got the two lower fog lights. This is everything that I recovered from the car. It was fine, I just cleaned it all up. Get everything laid out over here. All this stuff. Um, there's a few things like the, the cameras and all that that was existing, but the, I got new uh, horn and latches and the servos and stuff. And we got all the uh, nuts and bolts and screws laid out, wire and harness, a uh, bucket full of nuts and bolts. And uh, get started. Putting the bumper beam on, it shows here. I got the four bolts, the um, piece of foam that goes on the front of it, uh, the radar bracket goes here. We're going to take this step by step. Um, each little thing, I'm going to get it set up and show you how to put it on. So, this is pretty simple. You know what? Actually, let me do the radar first. It looks like that those bottom two bolts are going to be in the way. So, I got the four little bolts here. Get those started. These bolts are way too big for this little thing. Sticks on the 
double sided tape or something. I'm going to put one on each side here. I don't think one's going to be enough. Put one there. Since I got two, right? Might as well use both. Okay, I'm going to install the uh, hood latch and primary and secondary actuator and release. Uh, I've got six of these 10 mil screws. Um, start with the hood latch. Goes about right there. And then it's slotted so that you can adjust it to make sure the hood latches properly. Two of those there. And then our primary. It's kind of weird how it fits in here. At first I didn't really realize it, but it goes in a little sideways. And then mine has a little screw right in here. Tough to find. There's one. So that's right there. That one. Let me put this one over here. started and we'll cinch them down. Like I said, I might get that one too tight. Okay, I need a uh, flexible tip for this. Good. up to the, the plug right there okay so yeah pull this up pull this back and that goes in the phone there we go because it's a seal and then put this guy same thing put it down in there goes in the phone figure out what bolts go here. Uh, I might end up just getting some of my own. And then we get to plug in these primary and secondary actuators. So the wire clips there and probably would have been easier to hook them up beforehand, but I can manage.
see what I'm doing there. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this fender on. So we gotta get this guy, these, and then that's gonna look pretty good right there. And then these are the screws back here. I need to take care of, let me get a little more, more light on the subject. So there's bolt down here, that one, and then this one up here. And then there's one up there, but I got to do it behind the door. Okay, so this is apparently the right hand side. Go over here. Unfortunately, at this point, um, as you can see, I sped up the video due to the fact that it was getting late, and then my cameras died on me. The wife was coming out, hey, are you going to be working on this thing past midnight? And I'm like, uh, just want to finish what I got going right now, and then I'll give it up and finish it in the morning. So, that's kind of what I did here, is I just finished up what I could and um, then the next morning I started putting everything together um, sorry I didn't capture putting on the uh, bumper and whatnot but there will be you know in the future I'm gonna have to take it back off and and then I'll video putting it back on reassembly after it's been painted so at least then we'll have that and bonus footage Yeah, we got all the panels put on. Um, I do need to get new hinges for the hood. Those were damaged so much that it got pushed pushed back into the side. So when I get those new hinges, it, everything should line up great. Because so far, everything else is pretty good. Um, my panel gaps here, good down. Um, I mean, I could probably 
adjust it back a little bit. Um, and over here, it's a little tighter. Definitely a little tighter. Uh, it doesn't rub, but actually, when you open the door, it pulls away from the. Uh, that's right, I got it locked. Never mind. But yeah, it pulls away from it, so that's not going to be an issue. But same thing, I can uh, adjust that one pin that way a little bit and put, well, push those three, open the door and push those three, loosen these up up here and push it forward. Um, from look at the headlight and look at where this attaches, that's pretty good. Um, this one's not going in for some reason. I'm guessing maybe because this one really is out of a little bit of whack. Um, but I mean, I, even if you would have had to live with that, so, um, worst case, maybe I could put a little zip tie in the plastic and cinch it together because you can't push it together. Um, it just doesn't want to stay. And then I just temporarily got the struts and the hinges on there. Put the front in, everything fits real good. I don't have the, the clips down the side. I don't have the little plastic covers up there. Um, but so far, everything's looking pretty good. Um, there's a gap right here. No gap over here, but there's definitely a gap right here. Hmm. Yeah, that fender might, yeah, because it is tight. So if it comes forward, maybe it'll come forward and go over just a little bit. And then that'll fix this. And I bet that'll help with the bumper and make it cinch up there. But yeah, definitely some adjusting to be done. And uh, that'll be in the next video. Thanks. Let's see what our buddy Matt's got in the box for us. Here's the aluminum bolts. Okay. The sock. Alright. And a thank you letter. I'm guessing. Yep. Thank you, sir. Will do. Let's get this thing put in. All right. Got it installed. And, and just like in his videos, it's really hard to tell how big of a change this makes. But this thing, you're looking right at it from the driver's seat. If you turn it all the way to the left, it's, it's square on you. So yeah, I'm really liking uh, Matt from TextForms uh, adjustable screen mount kit. Um, installation was fairly easy. And uh, thanks, Matt. Anybody wants one, I'll put a link in the description where you can get in touch with Matt and order one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.